Hello, hello, hello. Any of us here, another car video. Topic of this video is how come you get disrespected in relationships? Before we get into that topic, I just want to let you know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they could be in all aspects of their lives health, wealth, dating relationships, and mindsets so you can be the best version of yourself. So, welcome. Those of you who are new, welcome. Those of you who are uh, regulars, welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Of course, if you have not done so, definitely subscribe, hit that notification button, and share the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, if you like the video, if you just want to support me, hit that thumbs up and like the button. I really, really do appreciate it. So let us get back to the topic at hand. How can we get disrespected in relationships? So this is very important because a lot of guys, people in general, don't understand how come they keep on attracting, you know, disrespectful people or people who don't treat them right. You know, they look good on paper and all is well. And then over time, things just get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until they break up. You know, so and they have messy breakups. So all that is uh, very important when it comes to understanding the type of people you you attract and how come these people keep on disrespecting you. So I'm gonna get into this, of course. I'm gonna have the four reasons and four ways you can tell. Of course, we're gonna have the bonus at the end, so definitely stay to the end so you can watch that bonus. Because it's going to be very important. It's going to tell you a lot about yourself. If you don't already know. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. First and foremost. You don't check it early on. If you don't check the disrespect early on. It will continue. You'll get more used to it and comfortable with it. So checking the disrespect early on is super important. Because that way you're able to uh, make sure that it ends early on. And the sooner it ends the better your relationship will be. First and foremost, second, you may feel that's what is supposed to happen. Maybe you were raised in a family where, you know, disrespect was just all around. That's what you felt love was. That's what you felt somebody actually showing you um, attention was by disrespecting you. And you're just used to it. You feel like that's what's supposed to happen in relationships. People disrespect each other, you know, just like some people feel like, you know, if uh, they're not getting beat, the, the person doesn't truly love them because that's what they're used to, you know. So all that is super important. If you feel that way, you know, you're going to get more of that, you know, so you got to change that mindset. Understand that is not right. It's not normal to be disrespected and to be wanting to be disrespected. You gotta change that immediately. So number three, you have low standards for people who you get in relationships with. It's kind of like the first or the second one here because at the end of the day, you are responsible for whoever you get in a relationship with. And if done right, being in a relationship should be a tough process. It shouldn't be something, oh, she looked good or he looked good and they're nice to me for a couple days or a month. Now you're in a relationship. You know I mean, it has to be a, a much more strict process because if not, you don't really know who you're dealing with and they could easily disrespect you. And, you know, because you're so infatuated and you're in that the lovey dovey infatuation stage, then you're going to want to be able to put up with it because, oh, man, I love them. I care about them. I like them a lot. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. You got to be careful and getting to know who you truly are attracting, who you're getting in a relationship with. You don't want to be getting in a relationship with low standard people, people who will disrespect you, people who won't change, people who will look out only for themselves. All those are forms of disrespect in a relationship, especially. So that is super important, understanding that you have to understand the fact that right now you're attracting low quality people low standard of people and again you might be attracting somebody who thinks uh, disrespecting somebody in a relationship is okay you know what I mean you have to understand who are you dealing with do they have the standards that you want and of course you have to have high standards first 
Because if you don't have high standards, then you're not going to be able to deal with somebody else who has low standards. You know what I mean? Or you're not going to be able to deal with somebody else who has high standards as well. You got to first have high standards, and then you'll be able to attract somebody who has high standards. Or at least will be able to get to your level with the high standards. You know what I mean? So, that is very important. Third way you can tell. Third reason you're getting disrespected in relationships. Very important. You got to deal with people and get in relationships with people who have high standards. So, you've made it this far. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Y'all are superstars. Thank you. Um, if you have not done so, just a reminder, definitely subscribe and hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, if you're enjoying the video, definitely share the video for sure. Let's help some other people out in this world who, who still might be getting disrespected and don't understand how come they're getting disrespected in their relationships. So share the video so we can help some people out. Yes, number four, number four. You, you as a person, um, really are attracting the disrespectful people. I mean, that's just it. You attract disrespectful people. Maybe you're timid. Maybe you're passive. Maybe you don't speak up to your, for yourself. You know, you could be a good-looking person, intelligent, but just, you just don't have the confidence. And people who are disrespectful are attracted to that because they don't think you're going to stand up for yourself. They don't think you're going to be able to, um, you know, fight back verbally, of course. They don't think you're going to lead. They don't think you have a, you know, a very high opinion of yourself. So all that is very important. You attract who you are. You're not confident, so you're going to attract other unconfident people. But if you are confident, you will attract confident people. So all that is very important. You attract who you are. So you got to understand, if you want to be... Uh, taking serious, you want to be um, attract respectful people. You got to be respecting yourself first, having rules, standards for yourself in your life, and then you know find people who who abide by them. You know what I mean? So that's all super, 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 super important. Attracting people who you want to be. You know what I mean? So very, very important. Thank y'all for making this far. I appreciate it. You know, again, I appreciate y'all watching, subscribing, hitting the notification button. Also, of course, liking and uh, sharing the video. All of it is very important. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Help get this video flying out the, the, the gates. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, both men and women, need this video. They need it. They need to understand how come they're dealing with the disrespect. So that's what I'm here to do. Help them out with that. But I know y'all have been waiting for so long for this. So I will I get you out of your misery. I'm going to give y'all the bonus. And, you know, it's all very self-explanatory. But when it comes to the people here who are getting disrespected in relationships, ultimately, they have low self-esteem. They have low self-esteem because, again, if you were somebody who had a high self-esteem, had respect for yourself, you're not going to deal with people who also disrespect you and don't have high self-esteem. You know, you're just not going to deal with it. Again, you attract disrespectful people because you have low self-esteem or you don't respect yourself. So you have to be able to respect yourself in order to be able to get somebody who will respect you as well. You know, like attracts like. And because you have low self-esteem, you're going to attract somebody who has low self-esteem. So you have to be able to do what you got to do to get yourself to be more confident and feel good about yourself. So then you will attract somebody who is more confident and feels good about themselves as well. And then you'll be able to at least get to those high standards and make meet them. You know, so that is all I got for y'all. Thank y'all. really appreciate it. Thank y'all for being here. It is awesome that y'all made it to the end. Thank you. Hopefully, y'all learned a lot and you apply what you learn. You get some awesome results. Um, outside of that, um, 
I appreciate it. Let me know what you thought about the list, whether you liked it, disliked it, or you think I hit everything spot on, or you think I missed some things. Let me know for sure. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and of course, share the video. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. For sure, for sure. Um, and if, if you found value in the video, definitely um, send me a donation and a little bit counts. You know, it's all about helping y'all, and donations help with the video our quality and everything else you know also help me so if you want me to help if i want to help me get higher quality videos and have better videos and do more videos definitely donations are very important i really 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 do appreciate it but yes of course um, i will definitely see y'all next week i hope y'all stay safe and um uh, you know i will see y'all then always remember always remember the strongest person is the healthiest person.